Hello everyone, we're off to do some whale watching and our boat will take us through this very harbor later in the morning. We were feeling lucky as we had booked on a day with no rain. We were also greeted by this scene outside our hotel window. Can't think of a better way to wake up. But our first priority was to get some breakfast as it was going to be a big day out there on the ocean. It was also a good chance to sit back and gather our thoughts for the day ahead. We enjoyed our breakfast, and then it was time to make our way over to the docks where the tour begins. However, we found ourselves delayed a little bit as these guys were doing some unique cleaning in the area. So with nothing else to do, we took a few moments to watch this crab going about his business. The tour company we went with was the Prince of Wales Adventures, which we also used in 2009 when last in the city. They offer different types of whale watching tours, and the one we chose again was the Zodiac Whale Watching, which is offered year round and lasts about three to three and a half hours. Our Zodiac had now arrived, so it was time to suit up. Which for this tour was going to be these flotation suits. These are made by Mustang Survival, and I became pretty familiar with these in a career that often took me on the water. This is a pretty good look at them, basically a bright colored one piece that keeps you warm and floats in the water. It was clear that day, but the temperature was 11 degrees Celsius that morning, so I was glad to have one of these on. Here's a rough idea of the route we took on the Zodiac, which left Inner Victoria Harbour, then past Discovery Island, along San Juan Island, going back within Chatham and Discovery Islands, and finally back at the harbour. It was time to board and start the tour. It was early April and we could not have asked for a better day, as the day before had been raining heavily. And by chance we got a quick glimpse of the hotel we were staying at, which is also covered in the previous video. The city of Victoria is a popular destination for tourists, with some of the people on this whale watching tour coming from this ship. And at the same time, other people were about to set off on a very different type of tour. And if you're interested, here's the name of the cruise ship that was in Victoria that particular day. We went past Breakwater Pier and then full speed to our destination. With luck, we were able to find two male orcas from the same pod, a young juvenile and his uncle. I was really happy to be able to see these guys up so close, and not surprisingly, we were to realize that they were out hunting for seals. Don't worry though, all this was happening below the waterline and out of sight. Or, I could be accused of just not seeing it. We were also to realize that there were a lot of tour boats out there on that day, with whale watching being a big attraction for the area. It was windy that day, so the boat was moving around pretty good, and I soon realized that trying to film at the required focal lengths in these conditions is a bit of an art. Trying to protect the camera from the salt spray also added to the challenge. At this point, the two orcas have caught a seal and are now prey sharing. They will pull off chunks and eat these, but as that happens, the carcass is sinking, so one of the two will take turns diving down and retrieving it, with the process repeating until it's all eaten. 
Prey sharing is very important in orca culture and usually occurs within family pods as one way of bonding. These were also some good views of the young juvenile, which we were told is growing pretty fast, being bigger than a full-grown female at this point. This is one of my favorite views of these two with the mountains of Washington State in the background. Things were getting salty when going through some of the big waves at speed. Unfortunately, because we were getting tossed around a bit, I had to put the camera away during those times and did not get any video. You will notice in this shot that the seagulls have come in and are taking away small pieces of the seal that the orcas have missed. An example of one species benefiting another. And some more shots here as the orcas crossed in front of our zodiac. These two were the only orcas we seen that day, but felt lucky when we were told that the day before none could be spotted. We were also told that the weather was so bad that they had to cut the trip short. At this stage, the tour took us to see other animals, such as these sea lions sunning themselves on the rocks. Maybe taking a break after some fishing. This section was within Chatham and Discovery Islands, which is a beautiful area with calm waters and landscapes. Chatham and Discovery Islands were named after the ships Captain Vancouver used when exploring the BC coast between 1792 and 1794. After being on the rough seas for a while, it was nice to be on the calm water for a little bit. The islands are also close enough together to witness the tide coming in. And this shot shows just how fast the tidal water does come into this area. Coming from a non-coastal area, I found all this very fascinating. some cormorants on one of the rocky islands, one or two seagulls as well. As we came around, we noticed that this one island had a fair number of seals on it. With the two orcas in the neighborhood, we noticed that all the seals in the area were a bit nervous and extra vigilant. You will also notice that they're in shallow waters to get away from the orcas. And it's a great way to get some sun as well. Here's a closer shot of some of the black cormorants in the area. We had one last look at the orcas before heading back to the harbor. And instead of looking at Victoria's Inner Harbour from our hotel window, as we did in the last video, we now had a front row seat. And here is one of the water taxis you'll find in this area. As we come in, you will see the catamaran on the left, which is also one of their tour boats and was previously seen out in the water earlier. We've been on the Zodiac tour twice now, so when we come back to Victoria, we'll try this boat tour out. 